We're doing some stuff around this house. I thought you all might really, really enjoy seeing me do stuff around the house. That's what I'm going to do. Stuff. Stuff. If you don't like that, me doing stuff, then don't watch it. So I'm going to do some stuff. Nobody's even here. You know why? Because people don't like me doing stuff. That's what I'm going to do. Some stuff. Oh, you like it? You like me doing stuff? Well, then hang tight, because I'm going to do some stuff. Let me plug this thing in. This, com this phone here is a... Um... Oh, hi, B. Davis. How you doing? I was just talking about you earlier. I'm going to do some stuff. Stuff. I have my flipper in. It's hard for me to say stuff. I gotta get that dental implant. I gotta. I gotta plug my small computer machine in. That's all these smartphones are. Are small computer machines. Hang on. So I'm gonna do some stuff. I, I want my computer machine all charged up because I'm not gonna stay in one area. Definitely not staying in this area. Gonna go down. Some, I do have some big news. Is this plugged in? I hope it is. Um, so it's not, then my computer machine's not going to get power. I think it's, I think it's plugged in. Does that mean you think this is plugged in? Let's see. Would it tell me if it was plugged in? I don't really care. How about that? I don't care that much if it's plugged in. Well, some of the, some of the first, some of the, some of the stuff that I'm going to do is I'm going to close this door over here because it should be closed. There, I'm doing some stuff, but one, one thing that I'm going to do right now, see, see this? I'm making some stretches to paint on. I'm not using canvas. I'm using ultra suede because that's what I had. So we're gonna we're gonna paint on this. So I'm gonna at least stretch m one of these out. Um, so that's a, that's some stuff. Oh, here's something. This isn't mine. I bet that's Katya's stuff. So I wouldn't wear that because it looks girly. I wear I wear like much more manly looking stuff, don't I, Remy? Remy knows. Now, um, so with this, this ultra suede, like I was telling Katya, like I, originally I was gonna prime it, and I still think I will. I won't use gesso. I'm not that much of a freak about doing traditional shit. I'll paint with mustard and ketchup. I I have done it before. Food coloring, anything like that. If it's got color, I'll paint with it. And then when I, I stretch this small one, it's just sort of nice, so I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure that I'm going to um, prime them all, but I just want to start getting, getting them together so if one of us wants to paint, they're ready to go. That, that's what I'm doing. This is the first thing I'm doing. For stuff that I'm doing, so I'm gonna stretch this this ultra suede on this this old canvas or this old stretcher. I um, this is the honest God truth. I'm not I'm not a person that oh I gotta I gotta paint on linen. I gotta paint you know that's not me. I painted on uh, a stretch bed sheet before. I'm not sure what this is. I painted this up there years ago. That might be canvas, actually. That, 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 that could be canvas. But it might not be, too. Right, Remy? Remy? Remy's feeling awfully needy lately. Remy helped with a video the other day and just did a fucking awesome job, Remy. You did. You were awesome. You were great. You're a very good bird. You're very good. You're awesome, Ren. I love you. I love you. 
Patty loves you. Everyone loves you. It's your Remy. I don't know, this, this Ultra Suede, it's real smooth. I don't see why we can't paint on it. Paint some stuff on there. I'm gonna go downstairs in a little bit. Speaking of stuff, I'm gonna make some salami bacon, which is Katya's invention, and it's fucking delicious. It is, it's real good. Really like it a lot. It's my new favorite bacon. And all it consists of is putting salami in a, in a pan and um, frying it up real, real good. Never really known for being a traditionalist or anything. Oops, I did that wrong. Oh well. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'll get it to work. We'll, ma we'll make it work. Right, Ram? Yeah, I'm r real traditional as far as art goes. Aren't I, Remy? Huh. Come on, don't give me don't give me crap here. Canvas. Whatever it is. Ultra suede. Probably a right way to do this and a wrong way to do it, and I'm doing it the wrong way, of course. found this ultra suede. I was in the city. I was like on Fifth Avenue or something. Somebody was throwing it out. It was like in a roll. Like with a cardboard tube and everything. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh look, that's ultra suede. What am I going to do with that? I knew I was taking it. This was 15 years ago. I knew I was taking it because I knew I'd do something with it. I wasn't sure if I was ever going to paint on it though, but I don't see why not. And that, that's my story. But I am, uh, I'm really looking forward to some salami bacon. Salami bacon is so delicious. When I was in the Navy, this is the truth, when I was in the Navy, they would take bologna and they, they, would, they, would, they, would, they would fry bologna. I'd never seen that in like St. Louis or anything. I'd never seen that fried bologna. Why would you fry bologna? But that's like something that they would serve for like for breakfast, fried bologna. Katia was saying, um, you know, is it, is it healthy to fry the salami? And I figure it's probably just as healthy as bacon. Bacon's full of nitrates, right? So I'm like, I don't know. We're it's too delicious not to fry. It's real delicious. Bigfoot railed me. You're a liar. You're not telling the truth. Bro, me too. Really? Did you get bent over a tree stump? Because that never happened to me. I'm fed up, toxic. Twig just isn't getting better. How are you doing? Uh, um. Yes, it does render out the fat. That is, that is, that is a fat. That is a fat. Fat is delicious, though. It's delicious fat. It is. It's really delicious. 
You know it's you know it's delicious fat. It's the fat on a tomahawk steak. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. It's like the fat on a prim, on prime rib. I could eat prime rib. Um, Kati asked me about my favorite foods. I think I've mentioned this. Like, if I had two foods that I could pick, I could only eat two foods, it would probably be oranges and probably steak. Steak's pretty good. I do, I do like fruit. I, I do like, I like sour cherries. I've never eaten a steak with sour cherries, though. That might be kind of tasty. Hang on, Ram. Let's see if we can pull this a little tighter here. It's pretty shitty, doesn't it? Let's see if we can pull it. Maybe. Maybe. Fuck painting on canvas. In this house, we paint on ultra suede. It's the thing of the future. It is. I just want to get some of these done so that they're ready. Because you never know when you might have to like crank out a painting. Look at all this Bigfoot. I'm going to paint him. It. It's an it. It's not a him. It could be a him or a her. It will depend. Um, I hear something. Do I hear Katia? I think I hear Katia coming in. Oh, there she is. Oh, surprise, surprise. And there she is. I was just talking about stuff. That's what I'm, do that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm doing stuff, baby. Yeah. I'm, right now I'm making some, some um, thingamajigs so we can paint on. I did some dishes. Did you? Katya just did some dishes, so that means... I will be frying some bologna, which is not my invention. It is Katia, so I was giving you credit, sweetie. You were? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. You invented it. <laughs> I would have never thought of doing that. I guess you have a point. Yeah, but now that it's done, I ain't no fool. It's kind of like how I thought of putting ground sugar in. Oh, yeah. Here's, a, here's another one. Here's another one of Katia's inventions. So, she's making, like, breakfast food, right? She made eggs. Like, you know, I've, I've heard of ham, bacon, um, you know, stuff like that. But she put brown swagger in it. And I saw her doing it, and I was like, oh, that's, that's going to taste like crap, I bet. It wasn't. It was actually pretty good. Loved it. Let me sing that for you all. Loved it. Don't think... I was going to say something. I won't. I won't say it. Look, 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 at, look at this, this smooth-ass canvas. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is definitely paintable. I like it. Yeah, it's mm. right. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's going to take paint, but I'm sure it'll take some kind of paint. I love it. She loves it. Look at a, a painting by Katia. Katia has a new song out. She does, with a video. Stop raving about it someday. I really like it. I am grateful for your opinion. That's good. It is, it's real good. this. When 
I was in uh, first grade, um, there was this kid that lived up the street that would always tell, tell me that Dwight D. Eisenhower was the, uh, the best president ever, right? Now we, I don't even know if we were even alive when Eisenhower was, yeah, I guess we were a lot, well, fuck, I don't know. But anyway, the point that I'm saying is I was a kid, and I went home and told my mom that so-and-so said that Dwight D. Eisenhower is the best president ever, and she said, he's just repeating what he heard from his parents. I just wanted to clear that up. But the point of it is, he's also the same kid that said in World War II, this is what he told me, that's what he said, this kid said in World War II, prisoners of, I'm talking to Katia here too, prisoners of war, the Japanese took our prisoners of war, this is what he said, this is the craziest shit I've ever heard. They would put glass rods up the dudes, right? Put glass rods up there. Then they would walk real hot looking Japanese women in front of them. This is what this kid told me. This is about third grade. I don't even know if I should tell this story. Should I keep going? It's too late now. Just keep using euphemisms. Yeah, and then when the men were, the POWs were aroused, he said that they, they would take two bricks How would that even be possible? You're in a POW camp, right? Somebody just put a glass rod. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, would you be aroused? I don't think I would. Who was this kid? He certainly liked Dwight D. Eisenhower, but his story about our POWs was bullshit. I, I think that I might have believed it until about third grade. And then I started figuring out, I think I was bullshitted. I don't think that that ever happened. Not that atrocities didn't exist on both sides. I'm sure that there were all kinds of crazy stuff on our side and their side. Um, Bob Masick in St. Louis was telling a story. This is a dude that we would go hunting with. And he said that the guys on the cleanup crew meaning to deal with the bodies. It's a morbid conversation, but I am going to cook salami in a little bit, so it seems appropriate. That they would sort of go crazy. Like, you know, you just sort of like, just get to the point where you can deal with anything by just like, sort of going crazy. They said that there were guys that would make necklaces out of ears and all kinds of stuff like that. And um, also said, that uh, the guys on the cleanup crew would also look for gold. Gold and, you know, like teeth, like uh, they would, dudes were going home with big bags of gold. I believe all that. That sounds like very believable stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about, this war stuff. I don't know how it came up. Dwight D. Eisenhower. So, somebody's saying, yeah, that happened. Oh, hang on, no. Uh, Peter, how are you doing? Merry Christmas. Well, I'm doing pretty good. Aren't I, baby? Oh, yeah. I'm doing awesome. Want to know why? Let's look at this. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, Dollar Net, thank you, Riggy. And Remy says thank you. There's Rem. There she is. Doing pretty good. Thank you, Riggy. I'm doing better now because of Riggy. I do, I do appreciate that. Um, I think I'm just gonna do this real fast. Take this down so it's sort of out of the way. And then maybe deal with it later. Or not. You were telling me a story yesterday about some Higgs, Billy Higgs or Bobby. Bobby Riggs? The tennis player? 
Were you telling me a story about them yesterday? Not yesterday. You mean Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs? Is that what you want? Yeah. What, is there a story about them? I'm just trying to remember what story you told me yesterday. It wasn't about, about Billie... About someone and someone's sister was involved. Someone's sister? I don't remember what the story was. About me? Doing someone's sister or something? No, no, no. Because I... No, it wasn't like that. I did stuff like that. Okay. Only if the sister was what like... What was that you know, story about? Being the 27-year-old when I was 16, my friend, his sister, would prime me with beer. She didn't have to give me any beer, trust me. I was... Um, Merry Christmas, Peter King. Well, thank you. Thank you, Cartwheel. Um, I'm trying to think of what story. you got a smile on your face, so I'm not sure what you're... Well, I can't remember what it was about. I feel guilty now. You're just bringing up some random story that you don't really remember. You told me yesterday. I told her yesterday about Bobby Riggs. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Robinson? Um, I, don't, I don't even know what to think, sweetie. Look, an another canvas to paint on. We're painting on Ultra Suede because that's what we have. So here's another canvas. You like these, right? Oh, yeah. Real nice. Oh, yeah. Sweet. We got two now. Um, maybe I should take a little rest. I don't want to overwork myself. That that is that's two canvases that we can paint on. Um, Katya's trying to get me to tell us a, a, a story, and I'm not really sure what the story is. Me neither. Um, about Bobby Riggs who was a, a tennis player, a Billie Jean King, but I didn't talk about that yesterday, did I? No. Mm. What were we talking about? I don't know, but Bobby Riggs was a tennis player. It was like the battle of the, the sexes. This was probably the 70s or something. And it was a tennis match between Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs. And Billie Jean King, of course, won because Bobby Riggs was 65 or something. Um, you know, uh, that I, I don't remember talking about that though yesterday. I don't know what Katya is talking about. What are you talking about? I just remember you were telling me a story. I was tired, and I was thinking, just remember this name because then you can ask Peter to tell you the story tomorrow. Now I can't remember the name. Do you remember where, where we were talking about it? Maybe here. Up here? Um, no, at the table downstairs. At the table downstairs. Maybe it was concerning... Did it involve sex? No. Drugs? Probably. Drugs are drugs. Probably during our because we were talking about cigarettes or whatever. Cigarettes. Don't smoke cigs. Um, someone's sisters. Someone when you were like in high school. Your mom, your sister. My mom and my, my I don't have a sister. <laughs> I don't know. My mom smoked cigarettes. She had a cigarette case. Uh, she always had a cigarette case with a big lighter in it, and she smoked one hundreds. You were telling me a story. Uh, I was telling the story about my mother being addicted to nicotine as well as somebody else that I know that was addicted to nicotine. I know that I know this one person, she smoked beaties, right? She smoked these little like beaties, you know what those are? They're like little cigars. She got she got hooked, she got that monkey on her back and couldn't get them off. She was always smoking the beaties. And then this friend of mine said, one day. She's walking down the street, just taking a rip off of her beady, and maybe like somebody from her school. She was this athlete. This is a friend of mine that was an athlete. Somebody that was like important in the school saw her taking a rip, 
and then she got called in and they said that like that doesn't look that looks bad considering you're you're on the athletic team and you're like our star player and you're walking around this town you know with with a beady in your mouth taking a rip well you know what i say about that friend of mine who i forget what her name was maybe she wasn't cut out to be an elite athlete maybe she was more cut out to be an artist i don't know who that would be wow i've never smoked a beady i'm gonna i want to raise my hand and say that. i've never smoked a beady but i've smoked clove cigarettes i've smoked those and i've um I never really got into smoking non-filter. That's gross. But I would smoke those if somebody had one. But I'd be like, oh my God, don't smoke. Did you like the story that I told about my friend? Yeah, it seems like there's probably going to be a happy ending. Well, there, there was a happy ending. She did quit, but before she quit, she would also check this out. She, she wanted to quit, so she didn't buy beaties. So what she did was... Like a lot of her friends were um, using e-cigarettes, like they were smoking jewels. And so what she did was to make herself feel like she wasn't really addicted, what she'd do is she'd just go walk up to, you know, her friend, hey, give me a rip. She'd see a friend like, you know, with a, with a jewel, give me a rip. So she just mooched off of people for a year and a half or something. You know, like, I'm not really addicted because I'm not buying it. I'm just mooching off my friends. I have other stories about this friend, but I don't think that I should. Oh, I could probably tell this one and it would probably be okay. My friend, like, would need a rip, right? That's the term that she used. And she told me, like, her, fr her friend that she lived with smoked the, smoked the jewels, right? Smoked you know, a jewel, whatever it's called. And like, her friend come in all passed out and shit, and then she'd just creep into the room and see the jewel on the, you know, by the bed, and just take a rip and put it back. She's like a Sharpie, like a, 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 like a cat. And it was like, almost like when she, when this friend of mine told me this story, I almost thought that she almost got like enjoyment out of like, I'm gonna sneak in there. She's not gonna wake up. I'm gonna get me a rip from the jewel. I'm gonna put it back. She's never gonna know. And from what I understand is, it happens on several occasions and the, the roommate never really found out. Probably suspected. Probably suspected because her jewel was always like, really getting empty quick. Like she, her friend would probably go to sleep wake up like she knew that she had at least 10 reps left and then she had no reps left well i must have smoked more last night when i was drinking than i thought that that's my story about this friend that, that i had that she told me i've never suspected anyone sneaking into my stuff well in your stuff no you're a vampire nobody's gonna mess with you they, they knew in college, they knew that you were a vampire. They're not going to mess with you. Yeah. yeah. But that word floats around. No one would. Look, look at this. Oh, E Wonder Productions. Does Katya... No, she doesn't peg me. Somebody get rid of this person. Here, we'll do that. Hang on. No, I can't. Scroll up a little. Here, let's... Yeah. Uh, thank you, pigeon lady. M not message deleted. Get rid of them. Don't time them out. Get rid of them. Because that was rude. It was rude. There you go. You're hidden. Thank you, Toxic. Thank you, Pigeon Lady. No, I don't get pegged. God damn it. What is some... You know what? Let the guy come back. Toxic, unhide them. Can you unhide them? If you can't, I will. I feel, I feel bad because I've made jokes about pegging. So, um... All right. I, I'll, I'll let the guy come back, but no, I, oh, you can, there you go, you're on hidden, dude, no, she doesn't peg me, kind of sick, what the hell is the matter with you, baby, you don't want to peg me, right, oh, I hope she doesn't, because I don't want to be pegged, that would be horrible, I can't even,
in a mansion. Um, is that Remy? Yeah, of course it's Remy. Right, Brian? I don't want to be pegged. I have a story about somebody that got pegged in, in college. Should I tell it? I'm not going to use the person's name, so why not, right? So I'll tell the story about this dude that got pegged. People will really enjoy this. So I didn't know what pegging was until I, somebody, this friend of mine from uh, Missouri told me the story. And he said, Peggy, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what, what that is. And then he described it, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound fun. So this is a mutual friend of ours, and I'm not gonna give too much information about who this is, but it's a mutual friend of ours. And he was dating this, um, this woman that, God, I don't even, very attractive, God, I can't, say. she's just attractive and, um, We'll call her liberal because she had a way of making money where you would have to be sort of liberal. So that, that was her job. She did not work at Hooters. But um, so, so anyway, they bought some kind of device or something and the deal was that like she was gonna peg him and he was okay with this. And this is a big dude. So um, I don't know why that plays a part. I just never like thought of him as wanting to get pegged. But then when I heard the story, I'm like, really? And then, so the story is that he, she pegs the crap out of him and he gets like a, a, a prolapsed Right? And they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do because it won't like go back in. So it looks like a baboon. So like they're debating, what do we do? What do we do? Do we go to the hospital? And evidently what they did was they used cold compresses and he laid on his belly and it went back in. I don't know if he's been doing any more pegging, but I will tell this, and this sounds like something me saying homophobic, and I'm not really homophobic, but sometimes when I'm around people, dudes, I say things that are ridiculous. And I was saying something like, um, to this dude, and I didn't know this story, but I remember saying this, and I remember, and it was something to the effect of like, um, Something came up and I, I, I said something to the effect of, um, my God, why would, why would anybody want to be cornholed? Why would any dude in the right, or anybody want to be cornholed, you know, man or woman or something? And they nervously laughed. I remember this. And um, because the story was floating around for years about him getting cornholed. So I think that he knows, or he thought that I knew about it. But that's my story, and it's not very interesting because you don't know who it is. But I guess pegging does take, take place. But, honey, it's not going to take place here because I'm not into that. I, um, if you wanted to do that, I would beg and cry, no, please, I love you. Don't do that to me. That's what I would say. Don't. Please don't. Don't have to worry about it. Good, thank God. I'm sorry if there's people out there that are into this. I, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with other people doing it. I just don't want it done to me. Teach him not to be, not to be pegged, right? What? I don't know what that says. I can't see. Maybe it's the guy apologizing. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry. Oh. Don't worry about it. I've made jokes about pegging and stuff. I found out what it was. And um, I really, I really, just, I'm being honest here. No, that would be horrible. That would be so horrible. Like, you know, what, what, what would you do? Would you, like, bite on, would you bite? I, you know, 
It hurts, you know? Oh, I thank you. Oh, well, you didn't have to do that. But that's very nice of you. I guess the pegging. See how the pegging comment? I do a lot of this now, like, oh, ban him, ban him, and then I let him come back. That's what am I gonna, I, I, you know. But you know what I'm saying? Right? Stop! No. Be horrible. That's like, um, we've had this talk about Katya having Romulus here and me being the midwife. Right? Oh my gosh. We have. And I told her that I, because we watched Little Big Man, and you know when Little Big Man, when the, um, the Indian girl is having the baby, she's biting on a stick. I told Katya, yeah, I'll make her one of those sticks. It's thoughtful. So you can... She also goes out into the forest by, by herself, herself. And says, uh, I'll see you in a little bit. She comes back 24 hours later. Right. But in this case, you're not going to go out in the forest. We're going to do it here. And... Um, I think people use the bathtubs, but our bathtub's too small, so we'll have to get a bigger bathtub for you to crank out Romulus, because Romulus will be a 10, 10 11 pound baby for sure. It's gonna be a big kid. I was sort of counting on him being small. He might be, he might be small and wiry like his dad. Right, he could be, that could be true. But I was like a nine pound baby, so, you know, go figure. What happened there? Somebody got, somebody got removed. Talk about things working itself out. Production gets to come back and we get a story about pegging win-win. Yeah, but it's not really a story about any, that anybody knows. I mean, it'd be better if, like, I was like, like, yeah, I was uh, friends with Donald Trump back in the 80s, and I, I don't have a story like that. That would be a story. That would be a great story. And that's not what I was talking about. He, I, don't, I don't think that he hung out in Kansas City or went to the Art Institute. But there is a similarity between him and this person. Do you know what it is? No. Well, think about his, his present wife. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's different than this person's job. This person's job was a, um, an entertainer of men, sort of. She was a stripper. I don't even know if the story's true, so I'm just gonna say flat out. His girlfriend was very attractive and a stripper. You know. That that's not an excuse to get pegged though. Oh baby, you're so beautiful. Okay, peg me. Okay, I'll do it. You're so hot. No. You'd have to be I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna start talking that and might offend people, but you'd have to be a little bit to want to get pegged. But I, I'm, I, I'm totally fine with it. I think that, you know what, you know, whatever people want to do, I'm pretty much boring. I am, I'm a bore. I don't want to do anything like that. I don't want to go to the emergency room, laying on. You know, can, can you tell him to come out here with a gurney so I can lay down on it? I can't even walk. I look like a baboon. Be horrible. I can't, you know. Ouch. Ouch. Like a sock. Like a sock that's rolled. That's sort, sort of how I think it would look. Like, a, you know how you, like, you roll up a sock? That's what the prolapsed would look like. Ouch. Owie. Like, didn't they have a safe word? Didn't they, didn't they have a safe word? Like, I would think that people that were going, like, were freaky like that would have a safe word. Like, if you're gonna do that kind of stuff, you're gonna, like, my safe word would definitely be, ow, you're hurting me. That would be it. That means, baby, stop, you're hurting me. But like, wouldn't you, you know, why she's strapping it on? The guy wasn't saying, well, you know, let's have a safe word in case, like, starts feeling like a rolled-up sock back there. That means stop. 
This was the first time, from what I understand, that they did it. The first time. And he ends up getting, well, maybe that, maybe that's my own, maybe they did it multiple times. That might have been the first time they did it with the big giant thingamajig. Someone's asking, what are you going to do around the house? I'm doing it right now. Exactly. I'm, um, I just stretched these, can these canvases. I'm going to stretch another canvas. And maybe Katya can read off some really important stuff that mm. comes in. And cook salami bacon, which is going to be delicious. And since I'm live streaming, I'll just pick this up and walk downstairs and go cook salami bacon. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do around the house. But I, I had I had to talk about I I had to talk about this um, phenomenon of pegging because I I didn't even know that that existed. Well, I, I probably would I don't know I just never thought about it or the name like you know I didn't know the name. You know there's a, there's all those ones like the. Pegging the, I, I, I'll shut up. We don't, we don't want to talk about this stuff on my channel. We're wholesome here. We're wholesome. This is sort of falling apart, but you know what? We have wood glue. Oh baby, look at this. Look. Oh, nice. I guess this will be this. That looks good like that. Right? Mm hmm I just... So we got two canvases. Yes, Remy can fly. I gotta make some bacon, seriously. <laughs> that stuff's so delicious. Um, alright, Remy? We could, we could enter, entertain you all, but I'm just doing stuff, so probably not gonna happen. Hi, Ryan. Somebody gives me a topic, I might tell another story. But we don't want to talk about pegging anymore. Because it's not wholesome. It isn't wholesome. Well, no, wait a minute. That's not fair. That's not fair to me to say it's not wholesome. Because to some people it might be wholesome. To me it sounds painful and icky. Mm. That's me though, but some some people are some people are freaks. All right, this fits. So this was obviously from this. So I remember when I bought this. I bought this in the city. I saw it in a window. It's gotten sort of trashed over the years, and I was like, I'm I'm buying that painting. And I did. I'm gonna take a hole in it. Put a couple holes in it. Fix it. But I probably won't. Just leave it like this. Alright. Peter, yeah. have you ever pulled a, a really funny prank on someone? A prank? Someone asked. Uh, I'm not really a prankster. Oh, you mean Can like, I... um... Drink this Coke and it's like full of pee or something like that? 
Like, what would, what would, I don't know, have you ever pulled a prank on somebody? No, I, I would hide, like, plastic spiders around. This is goofy, really? This was when you were a kid. I was, like, oh, this was last year. 16. Oh, really? Yeah, I would, like, buy them at Party City. Right. Kind of hide them in places where people might be re relaxing, like, on the arm of the couch or something. And were they realistic enough that it would work? Yeah. Oh. But, like, who would be afraid of spiders? Any of your sisters or your mom or something? I would do it, like, when I was hanging out with people. Like, say I'm hanging out with my friends. Oh, I see. You'd go get the spider. Hey, what is that? Ah! Okay. That's, a, that's a prank. Yeah, I'd do that. Um, what about, like, uh, putting a, like, a dead mouse in somebody's bed? That would be a better prank. No, I never did that. You never did that? Um... I'm not, I'm not really, I mean, like, when I was a kid, I would, like, call the local store or something and ask if they had Mr. Pibb in a bottle and say, well, you better let him out because he's going to suffocate. Does that count? That's a, that's a prank, right? Hang on. I, I did more pranks. I, I TP'd some houses and I, I might have thrown eggs. Oh, when I was a kid... We were throwing apples at a car, at cars, going down Lindbergh, me and my friend Tommy Nye, and I threw one and it hit the hubcap of a cop car. Cop car spun around and caught us. And then I saw my mom talking to the cop and they were laughing. So they didn't really give a shit. But I was, I was like, pale. I was terrified. I thought I was going to jail. I was probably in third grade, fourth grade, maybe. That's a prank. Um, I, I'm not really a prankster, am I? No. I don't really do that. Um, the flaming, like the, the bag of poo on the doorstep, and then you, like, light it on fire. That, that's, that's a prank. I never did that, though. Um, I'm really looking forward to eating some salami. Someone said something about how I can grow out the rest of my hair. I don't think they understand my haircut. She could if she wanted to, but she's badass, so why would she? She can have different hairstyles with it like this. It's true. It is, it's true. I've been lazy though, that's why it's just been like this all the time. And my hair, I can grow mine out and I can have normal hair again one day. <laughs> it's true. You don't regret cutting it though, right? No, I wanted to get rid of it. It was it was too long. Somebody's writing a long one. Did you throw it in the garbage? Um Yeah, I did. Who needs it? Who needs hair? I don't. It'll grow back. When I cut my hair, I saved it all, and I'm gonna make a wig out of it. Oh, that's right. We were gonna originally cut mine, and then Katya was gonna do weird stuff with it, like voodoo. It's it's simple. Like you take the hair, you cut it, and then right where you cut it, you hold on to it, and you dip it in wax, and then after the wax dries, you. You dip it again, let that dry, put it in the freezer. And then you dip it in wax again, wrap some thread around it, tie it, and then that's it. And then you have this lock of hair that you can... I'm thinking about making a wig out of them, because I saved all the chunks. Now, are we you donated. What, what voodoo, Katya? Have you ever made some voodoo dolls or anything like that? No. I did in art school. I did. I made some voodoo dolls. I might, I might even have a picture of them. But it was more or less about like the art thing, not like thinking that like voodoo would work or anything. I'm superstitious to a point. 
you know. Don't you always assume that something is a coincidence rather than it being like divine intervention? Uh -huh. Yes, probably. You err on the side of just random randomness. Yes, but then there's times in my life that it's just like, how can it be that random? Yeah. You know, it's like, that doesn't... And, um... You know... Oh, cats, yeah. I think I need, I think I need to go downstairs and, and make some, uh, some, sal some uh, salami bacon. Won't this be a treat? Isn't everybody excited? So, so you, you did some dishes? Uh huh. That's awesome. Yeah. Not that I would care. Like we. I just... washed my hands, so that. Oh, did you? So we can just fry up some salami bacon. Yeah. What I was thinking was making salami bacon and cheese, gri grilled, grilled cheese salami sandwiches, salami bake, you know, grilled cheese sandwiches with salami bacon on them. That's 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 a shirt that. This sweatshirt I like the cat did. Lightning House of Lake Michigan, Sable Point Lightning House Keepers Association. Didn't that. That's from your old friend. What's his mm -hmm. name? Yeah. Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. There you go. Yeah. I'm getting up because if I keep laying down like this, I'm just going to go to sleep. So. I'm getting up, I'm, I'm moving, I'm just going to walk this downstairs. What do you think about that? It's a good idea. All right. This Look is going to be great. Watch Look Peter make bacon. What is it? Salami bacon. Salami bacon. Y'all are going to love it. You think I'm screwing around? I'm not, I'm not screwing around. I'm making salami bacon. <laughs> Look at our canvases. We got two ready to go. I think I got, I think I got a lot more frames in the, in the barn. Somebody say anything rude? No. Someone's um. Uh. Well, many has. Someone's warning to you a, about me. Well, what, what, when, what, what, what are, what's the warning? Um. That she's beautiful and smart. She'll peg me. That I'm pretty tough. That she is that what they said? Peter knows I'm tough. She's tougher than me. Come on. Is it? Is that really what they were warning me? Like, oh, she's pretty tough. Or maybe they... Was it a rude comment? Does it need to be removed? No. Yeah, the longer streams are coming back. Um, what did they say? That, tell, tell me, baby. I think they saw that one video on my channel when I'm, like, smashing the icicles. Oh. They are like, careful, Peter. I've seen her smash icicles. You guys are usually I'm at work. Oh, hey, Christy. Um, I used to eat grilled bologna sandwiches as a kid. I got sick of them. Huh, now you're gonna, now you're gonna see something real delicious. Um, did, did you see that little icon? Did Did you see like? Uh -huh. Like that was an indication. That's what I'm talking about. See, see Cart that. Wheel. Yeah. <laughs> see, see that icon right there. Mm -hmm. That would be an indication that the cart cartwheel uh, has joined the channel. Nice. Yeah. Cartwheel smart. I think everybody should join this channel. If you were smart, you would. Does Peter King still dance for free? Where the naked ladies? What? Where the hell is your Christmas? We don't do that. Come on. We don't do Christmas trees. By the way, I have cameo. Would you like a Christmas cameo for your grandmother? Whoever. You want to give, give somebody trouble? I will. I love giving you my money. Oh! Well, I love you taking it. You, you're a, um, you're a subscribe. You, you join the channel. Do you listen to social distortion? I'm having trouble reading this. You got it. Thought you were a Christian. 
I don't even know how to respond. Um, but I guess I'm not, because I don't have a Christmas tree, huh? I mean, if you don't have a Christmas tree, then you're not, I don't know. Is that, is, is that part of it? They got rid of the message. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't think that's part of it. I think Santa Claus is BS, and I think that Christmas is, um, oh, look at that. Congratulations. Welcome to Baby Sasquatch Level, a new member. Welcome. Welcome. Is that Grayson? Um, isn't a Christmas holiday? I don't think it is. It's not. Um, it's a, nothing. <laughs> We're going to go down and cook some uh, salami bacon, real crispy. Because I found out the crispier, the better. It's really good. This is, if you live in a Christian household, you can have salami bacon. Or if you're in a non-Christian household, you can have salami bacon. It's really good. Um, although, I believe if you, it has pork in it, so maybe, you know, some. I would, um, I would join, but, man, I can't. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't, I don't really know what that means. I um, think probably hid them from the channel. Oh, did I? Uh, Christmas is pagan. That's right. To Toxic is a good Christian girl. That's true. She's 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 into Christianity. Um, on Clifford the Big Red Dog, he was big and red. I have a video with Clifford the Big Red Dog in it. Um, candles for dinner in a Christian house. Really. Uh, they bullshit. I mean, they bullshit. No, it's um, my dog. Your dog's a mess. I don't know what to say. Your dog's a mess. Um. That you know, it do, it doesn't matter why your dog doesn't like somebody. You need to correct the dog and tell him not to do it. It's it's no good if they're just like you know, barking at people or. Whatever, they see the mailman. Um, ever eat squirrel? Yeah, I'll eat squirrel pachinko. I have in the past. I haven't in years because I, I had squirrels living with me. Um, I was involved in squirrel rescue. Um, my, do you ever do stand-up cut? Not in a long, long time. Like a real long time. It's too much, man. I got, I got, um, oh, Tristan? Where's Tristan? Um, it's, it's too much with the animals and everything. It's just a big pain in the ass. Look at that. There's Grayson Smith, new member of the channel. Where's Peaches? Peaches is downstairs. We're going downstairs with this camera to cook salami um i guess we're going downstairs because katya is standing up so i'm going to take that cue seems like everyone's really excited for this all right salami bacon okay we'll make some salami bacon you want me to unplug this charger here let me take the, the charger on this and i'll just take this okay. and then um whoops Hang on. There's some secret stuff that we don't really want them to see, but. Remy, you wanna come? Remy, are you coming, baby? Come on. Come on, Remy. Don't fall, babe. If you fall, I'll catch you. Is it cool if I leave Remy up here in Chaga? Yeah, sure.
What? Oh, yeah, would you please? Yeah. That would be awesome. Oops. What's going up here? Hang on. I got this. Well, the videos about Bigfoot weren't supposed to be a joke. That's real stuff. I do, I do, by the way. Um, oh, look at that, that's gonna fit per. Oh, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that that's in there now. Um, is this, were you gonna like swap this out or is this good? Okay. Gonna fry up some bacon, some salami bacon here. Yum, yum. So for salami bacon, salami in it. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna cook it all. I'm gonna cook all, I think I'm gonna cook all this, this salami in here. Cause, um, See all this? Put this in a pan. Throw some salami in there. Putting it all in. We're not, we're not just going around. There we go. Look at this. We're making salami bacon. Raise this up a little bit. You don't really have to see the bacon cooking. I'll just tell I'll, I'll just tell you about what's going on. I made some mushroom tea. It's a mushroom fruit tea today. It was uh, reishi and, and chaga. Apple and um, maybe an orange, orange peel and an orange slice, maybe. Oh, it's cooking. The mushroom tea is really good. It's delicious. I love yeah. it. Mushroom tea. I'm having it. Ooh, that's mm. Well, it is frying up right now. I'm not screwing around. You're not, you're not screwing around. How do you make the tea? I put some water in a pan 
and then boil it, it throw some, a chunk of chaga in there. Some ocean roots. This isn't that kind of mushroom tea. Salami bacon. Yeah, I, wow. found, I found like the other day, like you really have to get a crispy like bacon. Fast. Yeah, it does cook fast. You, you want it crispy like bacon for it to be real good. Like crunchy. It's got to be crunchy. Like w when Katia first made this, when we made it out in the woods, when we got stuck out there in the woods, it was sort of like, sort of getting there, but not like... Oh, yeah. It was sort of... Like, not, not, like, uh, not, not damp, yeah. yeah, but the, the other day I made it and it started smoking like this, and then I went over and I was like, oh my God, that's, oh, look at that. Thank you, Tate Stewart. Appreciate, we appreciate that. We're, we're making salami bacon. Yeah. We're not, this isn't a myth. It's an invention. I, w I wish I could claim it as my own, but. Katya is the one that invented it. You know, I sort of feel like we're out in the room. Yeah, it is sort of like camping around this house. It is true. It's just, you know. We're roughing it. We are roughing it. It's, yeah. I mean, look, look, look at our kitchen area. It's pretty sweet, right? Oh, see, like this. See how it's starting to look like that? Yeah. You get it like that, and it's like, oh, it's more like the kind of pepperoni you eat off a pizza. Something like that, only crispier. Like a, a burnt pizza. A, per, a burnt pizza. Oh, there's Nixie. Hello, Nixie. Isn't it a glorious time of year? It's Ooh. glorious. It is just glorious. Yeah, yeah. We love it. We love Christmas. We love you all. I'm like Santa Claus. I'm really up. And I, 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 we, have, we have lights all over the house out in the front. I have an animatronic Santa Claus and then some elves that are building like toys and stuff out there. The light, the light show that is on this house is incredible. Mm -hmm. She's saying, uh, uh, like, we don't have any lights on this house, which is true, but we don't. Viewer, really... viewer, oh, we're not really. you a rom-com that has a Christmas theme? No, I won't. I won't watch a rom-com with a Christmas theme. But we did watch a rom-com the other day that was absolutely horrible, but we watched the whole thing, so how horrible could it really be? I know, yeah. I think it was horrible, though, because, like, if I was watching it in a movie theater... I think I might have walked out. Even in 1982, we might have walked out. Because that's when it was from. It was like Patrick Dempsey's first movie. What was it called? Money Can't Buy Love? Yeah. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. There were times when I could not watch. I had to turn away. Do you guys like Nightmare Before Christmas? I don't know if I've ever watched that. It's pretty creepy. What rom-com? Which is, um, is, this thing, this back part was probably built in like 1830 or something. This this area here, and then that front part was built in 1881. This was a like a barn, I think. Um, mm. So good. That water cup, Oh yeah. This this stuff. This, Salami bacon, thinking about packaging it and selling it. What we're going to do is we're going to get salami, right? And then we're going to repackage it into salami bacon. And I'll have instructions on the back that say, well, you take it home and fry it like it's bacon. It's called salami bacon. It's going to cost twice as much as, as regular salami. 
How big is the house and how old? Uh, 1881. It's not real big. It's not real small. It's big, it's big enough for us. It's pretty big, yeah. It's pretty big. Not gigantic or anything. It works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I'm not rushing this. Uh, I'm really trying to get... We bought the salami from Wegmans. It is. A, it's that one brand of salami that you always see. I did. I tell you that I was gonna uh, be showing more Sasquatch stuff. Here, hang on. Let, let me let me entertain you all with um, some ska, Sasquatch. I we, we're bringing stuff from the. Uh, well, it's an underground bunker. So we went over there and got some stuff the other day. Wait till you see this. It's pretty intense. We'll, we'll show this later, but maybe you can see what that is. It's not a monkey paw, okay? This is not a monkey paw. Look at, the, look at the size of that thing compared to mine. Look, it's ridiculous, it's huge. Can you see what that is? This is as real as it gets, people. We'll show it to you later. I can't break this out. This would be like spoiling it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break this out. We'll we'll we'll, we'll show we'll show this later. Get get another. Oh, you can see the blood, the meat. We might eat this. Would you meat? would y'all like us to eat some Bigfoot meat? We might. Would you eat Bigfoot meat? No. No? No. Yeah, you know. Oh. Just a, a little snack. Dehydrated tomatoes. I took my tooth out. Maybe heat it up a little bit. You think? I like them cold. I'm gonna try to warm one up. I think I'll like it. A warm dehydrated tomato. Oh my god. Yeah, these are good. Bob Champ. How is it warm? I didn't try it yet. Warm it up. I'll warm one up too. <laughs> oh, real good. I grew these. Those are all homegrown? Yeah. You are quite the green thumb. I don't know where you were when I was picking these. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Thank you for the years of entertainment in the world. And animal knowledge. Oh. Robert May. Thank you, Robert. We appreciate that. a good idea, Toxic. Oh, I like them hot. That was dripping grease. Someone said they, it's priceless to see you and um, smiling what? and laughing. Who? 
What? Why do people say this shit? What are, what are they talking about? I've always been like this fucking jovial dude. I don't know what... No, I have been. I, I, I am. I'm... I'm in a... Listen, I love having Katya around. It's true. But there's always been for years people who say you never smile in videos. Like... Why well, don't smile unless like there's like some and I'm doing a video so I smile all the time. I do. It's, it's, I don't know what these people are talking about. They're full of it. They act like I never smiled before I Katya. Um. I, yeah, I smile. <laughs> What's my f favorite fruit? Oranges. I love, I love oranges. If there were two foods that Peter could only eat for the rest of his life, it would be oranges. And steak. I said this right before you came on. It's true. Steak is delicious. We 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 should take out a tomahawk steak. That's what we should eat instead of the, the turkey. Yeah. Eat the tomahawk steaks. Yeah. We'll just split one again. Didn't we just split that one and it was plenty? Mhm. Mm yeah, that's true. The fat on those things is like, it's like eating prime rib. Like the fat on prime rib. Never smile with food in your mouth. No, I don't, I don't ever smile evidently, unless I'm around Katya. That's what people say. So now I'm smoking, I'm getting it a little hot, so it's smoking because this really gets you sort of crispy. 9.99, Dylan. Oh, are you kidding me? Thank you. How do I join the channel? There should be a link here. I can't. I'm on my phone. I don't know how to do it. But if you if you go if you go to the um, I don't know how to do this shit. There should be a link on on this thing on this live stream underneath it. Do I believe in zombies? What? Something about zombies. I, I I believe in real things like Bigfoot. That's what I believe in. Bigfoot is real. What is? Vampires. Vampires. It's, it's real. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because it's getting a little too smoky, but we're still cooking them because I'm telling you when they're real crispy. Oh my God. I'm still growing evaporated tomatoes. Evaporated or dehydrated? Dehydrated. It's like evaporated milk. <laughs> They're really good. I've been keep saying I'm so much happier. It's all that about him. I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, watermelon had people in a reel too. No, definitely in a reel. They've been seen lately. Yeah, it's true. Never, I never touched that one. I didn't. She's an alien. What's your origin? No, they're um, a biological recording device. The greys use them. They do the bidding for the greys. Um, I saw a leprechaun out by my barn. I saw a wee person back there. Real tiny. I t did I tell you about that? No. 
a leprechaun came out from underneath, you know, has his horse in the back of the barn, mm -hmm. came out, jumped up onto a rock, and then there was a mushroom right beside it, and it jumped up on the mushroom, this is no shit, and it looked like he flipped me off, and he said, Shurin Magori! And then he ran back, jumped back on the rock, and went back into the barn. We have a new member. Oh, that's, that's Dylan, Dylan X Ramos. Welcome. Welcome, my friend, welcome. It's one big party. Just having some, should we try one of these and see if it's, if it's crispy enough? Oh, it's hot as shit. I, I, you know, it's just not. Seem like they could be crispier. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, let's not fuck this up. We don't want to mess this up. If you're gonna if you're gonna make salami bake and do it right, it's just you know it's it's all the pressure of like people saying that I smile and I'm happy now and my hernia is fixed. It's been two weeks almost. Two weeks. You know, winking a nod. It's been two weeks. It's been a long time. Go to the doctor on Wednesday. Peter, how do I train my dog who keeps running? I didn't even see that, but you're asking how to train your dog on a live stream? Oh, um, you give me $8,000 and send your dog to me. That's how you do it. And then you have to come in town for three or four days to do some lessons. getting harder. That's good. We want them crunchy. Yeah, I know. I'll turn, I turned it up. I think one more good smoking. You know what we don't have is like some paper towels to get this grease off, but a little grease never hurt anyone. Peter, will you? No, I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to be your daddy. I have, I'm gonna have a, I have a, me and Katya are having a kid. Um, his name is gonna be, Romulus is a great name. Yeah. Katya looks delicious. Don't they look good? They look great. I wish, I wish I could get one that was just like a little burnt. I sort of feel like toasting a piece of rye bread. I'm just making a sandwich. Do, baby, do you want me to, uh, we can put this aside and we can make a grilled, a grilled cheese and, do you want me to make a grilled cheese? I'll make a grilled cheese. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, let's do that. Let's, and then you uh, think maybe put those on it? I, I can handle this. <laughs> I'll handle it. Well, we're gonna make grilled cheese with salami bacon sandwiches. Okay? Yeah. We can do the fish whenever tomorrow. Yeah, we'll cook that tomorrow. Lunch we'll, or something. We have some I fish, um, what is that fish called? Wovo or something? Woo woo. Woo 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 or something? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Katya, how are you feeling? Tarn Coleman wants to know. I'm feeling just great. Excellent. It's because it's this time of year. This is our favorite time of year. Today's the shortest day of the year. Yep. Yeah, we were talking about that, not Christmas. But we, lo we love Christmas, too. We really do. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is what we're going to do on Christmas Day, too, is we're going to probably make some salami bacon and sit, sit around. And mm -hmm. Maybe shoot some stuff. Yeah, we'll probably, but I always make art on, on Christmas. Almost always. Can you, can you read yeah. that from that distance? I'm just curious. Pretty much, yeah. Really? The smoke is kind of making it harder. God, how Believe can you say that? Merry, Merry Christmas. Oh, well, happy, happy birthday. Whatever your name is. Some of these names are just... Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. 
We don't even know if it's your birthday. You could be making that up. Oh yeah, now now we're talking. This is this is what I had last. Oh yeah. So you got you got to get it smoking like this. Oh the, oh there we go. Oh baby. Ooh, I love to see that. It's a little burnt. Yep. See what I'm talking about? This oh this is gonna be delicious. You gotta get that char on there. I did. I was making sandwiches before I went to bed last night, and I do I do recommend that everybody try this. And what it is, is you get some rye bread, and you toast it, and then you butter it. And then after it's buttered, you put Parmesan cheese on it. Just sprinkle some Parmesan on it, slap it together. Parmesan <laughs> on toast. Peter told me, like, in the middle of the night. I woke, woke up and had another one. A butter and cheese sandwich. Oh, that's great. The great thing about Peter is... He'll make it, he'll toast a piece of bread, That's and true. then he'll take butter if it's too cold. He doesn't care, he'll just put chunks of butter on bread and call it butter cheese. And then he'll eat That's a butter right. cheese sandwich. But, but we did start buying the whipped butter, because the whipped butter is easier to deal with. Oh, thank, thank you, uh, HP Lovecraft. Thank you. Thank you, we will, we'll buy more butter cheese. What was that? We should try tomato, rice, bacon, and mushrooms. What, like a risotto? Is that what you're talking about? Um, I was thinking food, I was thinking of something. Maybe we'll set these, I don't know. Get a couple of them crispy. You know, short story today, the pickle jar fell out of the fridge. It's true. And the lid popped off, and all of the pickle juice went into my shoe. Did it? But all of the pickles remained in the jar. Did, uh, what shoes were you wearing? I was wearing these. Oh, the sandals? Oh. It was no big deal. It went into the shoe, and then back out of the shoe. It went in. I, I had I was gonna I was gonna say like some people would throw that shoe away. The reason why I know that is that uh, I had a roommate, and I had another roommate, and the one roommate's cat went in and peed on the comforter. And the one roommate said, "Well, I, I'll ha I'll wash it for you." And she said, "No, it can't be washed. It needs to be thrown away." I was like, "Really? You're gonna throw the comforter away?" Well, it, the cat peed on it. Yes. Yeah, so. Personality issues. I got it. I got the recipe. Did you? Yeah. I saw. I saw it was a recipe. Yeah. Is that totally? Yeah, she probably. I probably let her go out. I'm gonna let some dogs go out too. Um. If you would, do you ever consider owning? The second Raven. Um, well, yeah, I was thinking about doing it before the pandemic. I almost gave the guy a down payment. Really? Yeah. But then, like, I don't know. Pandemic happened, so. Do I need a second Raven? I'm saying. I was gonna use it for the, you know, the chan the channel. I was just gonna like, document like how you take care of it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because Katya isn't a princess type. She's in. I don't know what that said. I didn't even wash them. I, I guess I just let them air dry. See, I was barefoot. The pickle juice ran through the shoe over my foot. It's nothing. So I let it dry. I put socks on. Put my sneakers on. And then I pretty much forgot about it. And now I'm wearing the sandals again. I don't know. I can smell them. Let's see. I'm smoking these one last time. Nothing. See these Dollar General shoes, they don't hold the smell. I bought those for Katya. They're practically pickle juice proof. I bought two pairs of shoes for Katya. One from Walmart and one from Dollar General. No, three! Three! It's my gift to you, baby. I'm buying you a ten, pair of $10 shoes. Yeah. I'm very generous. 
Our first date to Walmart, Peter bought me a pair of shoes. Did, did I? Oh, I did. Yeah. No, maybe four. I'm into buying Katya shoes for some reason. Don't think there's anything weird about it. There's not. I couldn't think of it. I loved that he bought me shoes. That was great. I was like, Look, you know, he's... even though they're $10 shoes, like, he wants to take care of me. I want to I wanna buy her the cheapest shoes possible. Maybe nothing's, it was really nice. <laughs> nothing's too cheap for you. I know. I'll buy you. I'll buy her the worst shoes. We'll go, we were talking about going to Payless. See what they have. They they have really great shoes too. I have this thing about shoes. I will only wear shoes that are made of leather because they breathe. Yeah. That's me though. I have all the shoes I need right now. Do you? Yeah. Oh, you got I the have three pairs of shoes, two of which Peter bought for me. I'm just, I'm just into buying. I need shoes, baby. I don't know what it is. Yeah. You know, it's, it's part of the American dream, you know? Oh, yeah. Guy that buys $10 shoes. Honestly, it's great. Before Peter, buying $10 shoes was not something I thought was a reasonable thing to do. To buy $10 shoes. I, I won't wear them. But they're okay for Katya. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I won't, and the reason why I won't wear them is because my feet would smell in those, and Katya does could never smell. That's why it doesn't matter. So, if, see, that's why I'm insistent upon leather. See, the thing is, like, no matter what shoes you have, you can manage the you can manage the environment as long as you do the right thing with your socks. You have to. But I've had, I've had shoes that, I've, I bought tennis shoes, and then I've run in them twice or something, and then they just start smelling. Like, they like, I remember I bought a pair of tennis shoes from Walmart. I've worn them maybe three or four times, and I'm like, oh my God, what is this? You're saying that like you've had the same experience. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. No. But honestly, those shoes that you got me, I think because they were like slide off, Right. They were looser. Right. So they had more airflow going in and out of them. Okay. Maybe that's why. Which makes them a superior shoe. Yeah, pretty good airflow. I, I started wearing these the slip-ons. I like the slip-ons. I think these are done. I'm gonna yeah. Put, I'm going to put these on a plate. I'm going to the grease, grease plate off of them. Start making grilled cheese. Get rid of this grease in this pan. Somebody did point out a fact that, like, doing this, like, it gets the grease out of the salami, so maybe they're healthier. Which I don't know if that's necessarily true. Sounds good to me. These are like, um, look at these. They're like, this, this could be. Should be worth money or something. There should be money. Can I steal one? Of course you can. I'm real hot though. It's alright. Is it? It's real hot. It is really hot. Tastes a little sort of burnt. Does it? Sort of. That's what I wanted. This is how I wanted it. Yeah. It's sort of selfish. Yeah, it gives the flavor a lot of character. I like it. Yeah. I got a half one though. Bucket. Leave solar tin alone. Wow. Uh, I think I also picked out the most dumb one. The darkest. I got a really dark one. Okay, here's here's this one. It's gonna be hard. Maybe a little bit too dumb. 
A little dark, pretty crunchy. You got what you wanted. You saw Peter make salami bacon. So good. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna make a cheese sandwich. It's Baby. very crunchy. Debbie, you want a grilled Swiss, right? Hear that? Crunch. Baby, I'm making you grilled Swiss. Is that all right? Thanks, Andrew Shaw. That's nice. Andrew Shaw sent us 20 bucks. No shit. Yep. Andrew, you're all right. You hear that? You're all right. That's one of the highest compliments. Peter, what kind of college food did you make yourself in art school? Oh, uh, I make swampy stew a lot, which consisted of, um, what was it? That was like golden mushroom soup in a can mixed in with uh, a box of rice and roni. So you'd make the rice and roni, and then when that was sort of cooked, then you would put the golden mushroom soup in. It's delicious. Also, I'd, I'd make like, um, I'd, I'd take ramen noodles mm -hmm. and then I would just, I'd boil them up and then I'd drain them. And then when they were drained, I'd put the, the spice packet in, the soy sauce, no water, and just make it like that. And I still do that to this day. You made soy sauce back then? Oh yeah, they had it, they had it back then, I swear. For some reason I assume that soy sauce was this, was this new thing to you. Like oh really? Like that it. was my new like. Yeah. No, I just like that. I would, I would, I would. Even as a kid, I would, um, I would drink that stuff out of the bottle. Now, wow. with that said, I didn't understand that like Chinese food even really existed until I was in the military. When I was a kid, we never went to a Chinese restaurant. It's so fucking weird. What what I thought was Chinese a uh, Chinese food was that with choy in a can. That, that's what I thought. I don't, I don't know why my parents never took us. It was always like a s steak restaurant or Italian. It's always something like that. It was never... Maybe there were no Chinese food restaurants. In St. Louis? Come on. Otherwise you would have seen it and thought, what is that? No, I probably saw them. Now, so with, that, with that said, I mean, uh, Mexican food, like when I was... When I was five, I'd go to this place with my mom. My mom would take me, just me and her. 
and I'd go, uh, I'd eat tamales. So clearly, you know, Mexican restaurants were okay. I'm not sure why Chinese restaurants were. Huh. But, but then my mom started dating this dude, Jim, and he took, um, he took my mom to this Chinese restaurant. I came home from the Navy and there was this, there was Chinese food in there in the refrigerator. I said, what is this? She said, it's Chinese leftovers. You can have them. I was like, oh my God, I was hooked. There was something like, um, MSG. oh, it's delicious and hot and sour soup. But that's the way I judge all Chinese restaurants is by how good is their hot and sour soup. Mm. It's got to be hot and it has to be sour. It's not, it's not hot and sour soup. You know, I think, I think MSG. I think one time I ate MSG and it made me cry. No way. I think so. Because I was crying and I was like, this is the MSG. It's, it's no pretty, way. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Are you, are you sure there wasn't something else that happened? You don't have to tell us. I think MSG is like really hard on the body. Probably. Yeah. I really did. It's crying. I feel like MSG is one of those highly debated things. Maybe some people are sensitive to it and some people are not. Now I'm putting this in, but before I'm putting this in, the bottom of this is toasted. Now I'm sprinkling Parmesan cheese on the bottom of a nonstick pan. Then I'm putting the bread directly on it, right? I'm taking the, the other top half of the sandwich, I'm putting it on the bacon, salami bacon and cheese, right? And then I'm sprinkling Parmesan cheese on the buttered bread on this, on this top too. Wow. You're amazed, aren't you? Yeah, I never would have done it like this. The buttered side is up. And the cheese is on. Well, it has to be because we're going to grow it. Nice. That's a professional cook. Peter has some recipes up his sleeve. But th th this, I'm, I'm making this up. But the Parmesan on the bread, that, like you can also take par Parmesan in a nonstick pan and just put it, sprinkle it in there, and let it sort of cook, and, and once it's sick of the pan, it comes out like those, like those parm crisp. Oh. That's original, originally I had those. I was at Sarah Jenkins' house, and it was about, it was a famous chef in, in New York City. So it's over at Sarah Jenkins' house, and it was around Christmas, I believe, and she was in there cooking, and one of the things that she made was that. She had like an on-stick pan, and she's putting Parmesan on the bottom of it, and then letting it, you know, set up and get hard, and then pulling it out and just putting it in like a basket as a, like, hors d'oeuvre for people to eat. And I was like, I didn't know you could do that, and she just laughed at me. So then after I saw that, then I'm like, well, I'm, I'm adding that into like when I make a grilled, grilled cheese sandwich, I'm putting that on the bread. So I, I, started, I started doing that. Sometimes. A lot of the times. That's my that's that's my story. Oh wow! Look at that. What happened here? Wow! Wow! Isn't that nice? We love you. Who is this? Who is this person? Oh, Andrew Shaw, of course. 
old AS. Thank, thank you, Andrew Shaw. I love you, Andrew, but not in, not that, not that kind of way. Like a bro, like a bromance kind of way. Right? I'm assuming, yeah. Yes. I just wanted to make sure that, that, that we're perfectly clear. Um, Adam was here. MSG. MSG is great. It's really tasty. I like it. Didn't you used to eat it like directly? Yes, I will. Yes, I will eat it like I'll eat salt. Like, like say, say this, say this Parmesan cheese with salt, right? I go like this. I would do that with cheese. What would you do with MSG? No. Well, see. I'm not as hardcore. No, but you're pretty hardcore. Katya is very hardcore. What? You are yes, hardcore. I, I'm pretty hardcore, yeah. I know we have a spatula. And I know we do, but it's really dirty. There it is. Well. Don't need it. taking my time with this because this is Katya's sandwich if it was mine. I'd be really, I wouldn't really care what it looked like. Um, what's up, Poggers? I don't know what that said. It said Pugness or something. What's a Pog Champ? What's up with this Pog stuff? Pog this, and Pog that, Pog Champ. I like it, though. I like, I like it. I like it. You're a Paul champ, I think. I hope I didn't yes. say anything bad. Is that something good? Yes, yeah. Well, then you are a Paul champ. I'll take it. Um, somebody was saying something. Why is she hardcore? She's hardcore. It's, it's Katya. She's hanging around with me. Come on. Where did you get in your... I don't know what that said. Why is she hardcore? Just come on. She went out there. We went... We went to go cook in the woods. We got lost. She sat there and froze with me during a live stream. That's hardcore. She... Not for a vampire, though. No. But she shoveled all the snow out from the cars, didn't complain, she's hardcore. She's hardcore. She can deal with the dog. She's good with dogs. That's totally hardcore. She's the only one I trust. It's true. With the dogs and everything and everything else. But with the dogs, she's the only one that I trust, and that's saying quite a bit. She's hardcore, definitely. And everything else. Look, even my stitches. I'll let her touch my stomach. Watch this. Do it. Go ahead. Just touch it. See? I trust her. I could I could prove other ways that I trust her, but I'm gonna shut up now. I could be more hardcore. No, you can't. More hardcore than you are right now. Pretty hardcore. Well, I'm weak. You're weak. I have weaknesses. You? Yeah, sure. Like uh, what? Like uh, garlic and like a crucifix. Mm. Um. I don't know. Maybe I don't quite meet the standards for hardcore. Maybe I need to add. One more element. Just work on, maybe I just a need girl more that you, discipline in my life. A girl that uses an e collar is hardcore, somebody said. Um, uh, somebody was saying something else, but I forgot what it was. So it's not important. Um, uh, yeah, 
pretty, yeah, she's pretty, yeah. Nice to Yeah, she's, yeah, she is, yes. Um. She's not domesticating the werewolf. It's not, it's not what's happening. Tell him, baby. I'm on, it's impossible to tame me. A couple more generations of breed. Man! No, it's true. I She's think... not backing me up on this. You can't tame me, baby. I'm untamable. Tell them. I'm backing you up. I said a couple more generations of breeding and we'll get there. You're talking about our offspring. You're talking... I'm untamable. I'm untamable. I am. See, that's, that's delicious, right? Peter says Parmesan. 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 That's how he says it. Parmesano. Whatever. I said Peter and Danny. Mm, that's nice. She's a 90 on the cup. She's a 90 on the E. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. Um. No, don't bring up the sas the female Sasquatch. I, I'd rather forget that. That was not a good thing that happened. It was an enjoyable. Peter's told me about a lot of stories, but not about that. I won't talk about it. It was, uh, you know, come on. I was, I was fondled with that, at more than fondled with. It was not. It was not fun. It was all biological. See um, ya. Bye, toxic. See you, toxic. Who's toxic going? Holy crap. I don't even know what that. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Um. Bye, toxic. Bye, toxic Shiva. Look at this. Look at how the grilled cheese is coming. See. Oh, yours is almost done. Do you want me to cut it? Cut it in half for you? Is that standard procedure? Well, yeah, if you were like a, a patron in a restaurant, I'd probably cut it. I think I'll cut it. Yeah, that sounds great. Maybe I'll whip out a pickle and eat it with a pickle. I was going to do that for you, sweetie. All right, whip one out for me. I wish that I could dry this plate off, though. I'll eat off a wet plate. Okay. No, you won't. Come on. It's gonna dry it on my elbow. It's all good. See, she's hardcore. There you go. Dry. Okay, not quite. Come on. All right. That was a crap, man. No, it looks great. Come on, let's do it. Come. The sandwich will dry it with the evaporation. All right. From the heat. Can you get, get the jar of pickles. Throw a pickle on here. I'll let you do it. Look. One pickle or two. One for me. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this for you. Look at this. There's almost no pickle juice in there. It all spills between my toes. See? Katia sandwich. You gotta show it this way. The pickle. No, no, I'm good. I love pickle. pickle. Katia's gonna. Mm -hmm. You said freaking bread. Oh, there oh. it is. 
This is, that is a legit grilled cheese sandwich right there. And there's salami bacon in here. I think on New Year's, Peter and I. What are we doing? Maybe at midnight we'll go out and see if we can look at the stars, right? If Why that's not? What you want to do? I think that would be nice. Like go on the porch, see if we can see some stars. Maybe we'll see a UFO. I always enjoy seeing those. We, we bought cheap cheese this time. You know, like the $2 cheese? Most of the time we buy the expensive stuff. But the, the cheap stuff isn't bad. You know, every now and then, but the expensive stuff is bad. Would you, would you agree, Katya? I was a little unconvinced with the cheddar, though. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell the difference. That, that six-year-old cheddar was pretty amazing. What? I like this with cheese. How is it with the bacon on there? The salami bacon. It works really well. Uh, you've hit it. You've hit a patch. I have. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty enjoyable. Yeah, Romulus. Romulus. That's going to be our kid's name. It's really a great, it is a great name. I don't really know how it happened, but I don't know how any of this happened. It's all a dream. A really complex dream. Hang on, I saw a question. Nope. We've known each other for a long time. A long time. Oh, well, I'm not, I got rid of the place in Brooklyn, so that's not going to happen. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't really have any desire to go back to Brooklyn or New York City unless we're doing an art show, which we're probably going to do some point soon. Um, how much swag do you have? What's that mean? How much swag do I have? I don't know. He's dripping in swag. At all Is it, isn't swag like the stuff that like, are, that's like the bling and stuff like that? Like you wear like. Peter's not a dandy. No, I don't. I don't wear any of that. I don't. I don't wear rings. I don't wear. I don't have any chains around my neck. More swag than you can bag. I think he mean your art. Um, have you ever worked in a prop making? No, I've never made props. Um, 
I've never worked in anything like that. Somebody should hire me, though. If they were smart. They was, if they were, if NASA was smart, they would call us. And if Elon Musk was smart, he would already have the limo outside with like suitcases with money. Hmm. Gravity, uh, our gravity generator machine. We need money to build it. No, you might be able to like say, well, he's just a dog trainer. He can't do anything like that. She has a degree in physics. So, Ted makes me seem more legit, doesn't it? Think about it. Think about it. Her degree makes it seem like I could. Oh, you want to? You think? You think I haven't been thinking about a gravity generator for? for let me go. Let me go get uh, some early plans. They think I'm fucking around. I can tell. I got. I know where it is. I was going to show you all. There's. You won't be able to tell what's going on in this picture, but. Um, hang on, I'm gonna we'll find it. No, I know exactly where it is. I just want oh. to make sure that this. Sweet. Look at that. I'll be right back. Mm. Still got half a sandwich. That was delicious. Making a horror movie? We're not really into like horror movies. Horror. But now that you say that, I, I have been making some. I have made horror, horror art for the years. If you see, that's a. You can tell what that is, right? Right. I'm getting to the gravity generator machine. That's a drawing, and does. The, everything moves and it goes around on a circle, 360 degrees. It has an electrical slip ring. All right. Sa same idea here, right? So no, electrical slip ring, some police officers abusing a young man. New York City, we had problems with cops, and so I was doing a lot of art about that. You look up Abner Wema. Bigfoot. Another NYPD cop piece. More. Here's here's a NYPD cop. That's a hooker. The fetus on the ground. I can't remember what that was about, but I'm sure it was some lovely thing that NYPD was doing at the time. Not all of them, but all right, that's not it. This is a, these are hamsters, right? And this was like a, I was gonna have them power light bulbs. It's like a little generator that I was making. There. What do, you, what do you think? This is a 20 year old drawing. I'm not lying. I'm telling you, gravity generator. This won't work. It won't work. It was a, it's, a, it's a part of a gravity generator, it's not the whole thing. It's a part. Where's our millions of dollars so that we can build the goddamn thing? We need we need a kiln because we need to. Um, we're going to work with some ceramics for this thing. We need a kiln and we can't use a three hundred dollar one. So it'd be nice if this is a USS Turtle. I built that. It's uh, it's in my barn right now. It's disassembled. I actually did sketches for it. Peter. What? What would you use a gravity generator for? To move through space, space-time. 
and we turn it on and then we just sort of roll fast. NASA had a project to make a plane that would fly using artificial gravity generators, but to make a plane that would uh, fly using artificial gravity generators. The operation failed because of the lack of knowledge about how gravity works in the quantum, on the quantum scale. Well, as to date, they don't have a gravity generator, so um, they, I have some, I have some plans for one. At least I'm talking about it. Nobody else is talking about it. That should be worth at least a half a billion to get me going. Here's, here's a generator. This isn't a gravity generator, but this is a generator that powers the show. And um, actually, it just looks like a generator. So the show would actually be powered by an, it'd be air compressors. But it, it looks like Gilligan is on this old bike, Gilligan from Gilligan's Island, and he's making the conveyor belts go, and then, but it's all bullshit. It's all smoke and mirrors, which the gravity generator would not be, it would be real. This is art, completely different. I think I made my point. Somebody should give us. I think it has to do with the sort of spiraling in, like when bath water is going down the drain, it starts spiraling down. And then anything that has like mass will be drawn into the spiral quicker. So it's sort of a gravi gravity simulation. That's not my idea. That's I think the gravity like generator the will be some kind of spiraling thing. Sort of like my idea. Wow, I deserve that. It's a great idea and we're gonna check it out. That's what we need, we need money to check this shit out because, you know, she's talking about the, you the know. The shape of it. Oh, that's different. She's talking about the shape of it. Come on, you don't know what you're talking about. She has something. Will there be a black hole involved? Well, talk to my friends at CERN about that one, okay? All right? Shut him down real quick. I'm gonna eat this. Eat it, baby. So, so, so this, this was all right, huh? You like, the bacon is good on it? Yeah, I mean, the whole thing is pretty salty. Oh, I love salt. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. I'm using the plate. Very salty. It's actually kind of crazy, like, the bathtub, the water will drain until it starts spiraling. But I noticed that it only starts spiraling after there's something other than water that gets the spiraling going. What? Like a, um, like something with a different density than water. That will start the spiral. And then after the spiral's going, things that have higher, things that are separate from the water will get drawn into the spiral. But then you can't tell if the water's being drawn into the spiral because it's like, it's all water. Could be gravity, could be gravity. I'm gonna try my, my, my new recipe here. Salty. 
We have a perpetual motion machine that we've been talking about, but we can't get funding for that either. We're not saying that we can pull it off. What we're saying is that we'll try and pull it off. That's fair. Last bite. It's possible. If you were, if you were looking for a long shot, right? The dog trainer with the hot girlfriend that has a degree in physics? What do you got to lose? See what I'm saying? It's perfect. That's, that's your long shot if you're watching, Mr. Billionaire. No. <laughs> Somebody needs to get rid of that person. Thank you, Toxic. What do you think what about... What do I hear? What do you think about the sandwich? I think it's good. Did I just hear something? Solar. He's over there on the dog man. Paper bag. Well, yeah. The sandwich is great. It's I like it. Really good. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mostly tart. No, thank you. If you don't have salami, you could even make this with uh, regular bacon. How much can I bench? I don't know. I haven't done it in years. I could probably bench 90 pounds. Really? Yeah. Wow. What made you decide to major in physics? I wanted to understand more about energy. program. <laughs> She's laughing at you, dude. Oh, I love it.
They could only see what was right here. You know what I was thinking? We should get this thing taped over here. What? This cord for the under. Because every time I try to reach back there and do it, no. I knock this thing out. That's a good idea. Piece of duct tape? Sure. Mm-hmm. Watch him go. How's Tonka? Is it the bag? <laughs> what else? I ran to my refrigerator to grab a pickle. You inspired me. What kind of programs do I write? I just, I mainly, there's a couple things I like to make. I make, I do visuals for like mathy things, like visualizing exponentiation or something like that. I'll do just basic, trying to make something look cool. I can write a basic app, like making a pretend OS or something, which we use for artwork. So like, you know, Peter opens up my computer and there's a program running, but it seems like that's my operating system. And then we can use that to make art. I can write programs, like a wide variety of programs. Oh, that was so cool. I'm not really like much of a hacker though. You're a hacker. I just, like, I'm more of a hacker. Work. I can hack the crap out of some stuff. Oh my god. That was so good. I don't do like phone apps. I. I've started making a web app, but I took a long break. Not into that, really. Toxic's back. I thought you laughed. It's true. Pumpkin gave her a couple refusals. Fucking pumpkin. Fucking fun. They got through it together. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. I can put my tooth back in and maybe we should go watch a movie or something. Yeah, we should. Well. I just program in Python. For anyone who cares. I'm really not much of a hacker. But if you're interested in what I do, you can check out my channel. There's a lot of examples on there. I'll give you a clue of how old I am. When I turned this age, my dad, he said, Katya, you're officially a relic. So that's how old I am. She's uh, a year older than Mango. And also, no, she's thousands of years old. We both are right here where it counts, inside. People saying ridiculous shit. Your favorite YouTuber. That's my favorite YouTuber. Well, you're, Ben, you're just um, spamming, man. And Thai food. Yeah, I like, I like Thai food. Well, we've been doing this for almost two hours. So now, now I think I gotta go try and, um, Lay down and rest. 
because I, I'm getting over the operation still. But I am, you gotta admit, I've been live streaming a lot. I'm being a real pog champ, aren't I? We both are. I'm the one that keeps bringing it up, don't I? I'm just like, I'm gonna live stream. I just keep doing it. You know why? Because I love the shit out of you all. But I love you more, baby. I do. I love her way more than I love you all. I want to watch another rom-com. We're going to go watch a rom-com. Maybe we could watch, like, one with, like, um... What's his name? You know who I'm talking about. Um... That was Adam Sandler. Do I need to do rom-coms? No. No? I don't think so. Well, I guess we're going to go watch a rom-com, now. <laughs> Wait, he does. Fifty First Dates. I guess that's what we're watching because we'll watch this and then like next time I want to watch a Transformers movie and Kazi will watch that, right? Yeah, I will. She will. She's already done that for me. Oh, I'll watch it. Hey, Let's watch Thor. Okay. On Christmas, that's when Wonder Woman comes out, right? Yeah, that's right, and I can't wait. And I'll watch that. Yeah, she's going to watch Wonder Woman. Um, 50 first dates are good. Ow. Um, all right, so that, that's it. I guess, I guess we're going. Um, hey, listen, thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming by. Um, serious, seriously, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Whoever's there. Yes, Toxic, all y'all. Uh, Dylan X Ramos, who's a, um, on the channel. Just Andrew Shaw, thank you. Dylan, Andrew, Rigsy, thank you. Toxic, Patricia, Smig, Simming, got whatever your name is. Sky Tunnel Backward, HB Lovecraft, thank you, thank you, dude. Nixie, the one eyed pixie, there she is. Um, I got stuff in my teeth. Um, I will. Anyway, thanks again. Dylan, see ya, thank you, man. Joey Jojo Jr. Shabadoo. See ya.